This is Jordan Games, the very rare and exclusive one-of-a-kind locomotive from Sodor. Hey, it's Trains Are Fun. We love trains. We have just got back home from a Lego convention. And yes, there were Lego trains at this convention. But we also met some of our people from the community that love Lego and even besides trains, Thomas and Friends. So I want to share with you a few of the things that some generous people gave me while we were there. On the left here, this is Dunkster Bricks. I'm going to be featuring something that he gave me here at the end, but uh, Duncan, he's made some really cool train videos on his YouTube ch channel, Dunkster Bricks, and he brought a couple of his train mocks, and he I got to sit with him and, uh, and just enjoy the whole show as uh, an exhibitor there. So it was really nice to meet Dun Duncan from Dunkster Bricks, all the way from Scotland, came all the way to Pennsylvania to enjoy the show. And on the right, we have Sin Killer J. Tachikawa. <laughs> I hope I got it right <laughs> this time. I'm always getting the name wrong, but he has one of the coolest looking uh, sig figs as well. I, I, I commended Dunkster Bricks, by the way, for using the, uh, the red beard or is it the uh, metal beard? I can't, I, one of those uh, peg legs there, but this is a really neat sig fig or signature figure from uh, Sin Killer J. And he, he got me some items as well. But what we're going to start with first is something a family gave me. Uh, they had two young kids, and they were so excited, and I'm really glad they came. And this, this was one of the highlights for me as well, but is this uh, track master item. Let me show you. I was going to do a video of this at the show, but it just every time I'd start to record, more people would come up. It's just... I didn't want to miss the opportunity to talk to people, so that I said I'll wait till I get home to discuss this. But this is Gordon in red paint. What? Number five? No. I actually showed this to a three-year-old at the show, and he's like, James Gordon. But you know, he saw that. I think his parents were amazed because we, we were all thinking he could read, but then we oh, there's the picture of Gordon there on the side. So the family that gave me this, uh, the boys said, this is Jordan Games. <laughs> the very rare and exclusive Jordan Games. So this one, this one I'm definitely keeping sealed because it's obviously James in a Gordon package. But one of the classic misprints. I love getting the misprints. So we can add this with Freddle and Rasoy. And uh, I may have another one. But these are, um, I just love getting things like this. So I really want to thank them for um, uh, giving this to us. And we'll probably feature this in some other videos. Probably we'll do a compilation of some of our uh, misspelled, misprinted items in a future video here on Trains Are Fun. But this is Jordan Games, the very rare and exclusive one-of-a-kind locomotive from Sodor. All right, so Sin Killer J Tachikawa. I just noticed the the, um, the Octan logo and the tie on that that torso. That is one of the coolest torsos. I never noticed that it had a tie or the Octan logo. Um, but anyway, he gave me this Gashapon key. It comes in those capsules from Japan. He's uh, a big fan of the Japanese culture and takes... Uh, as many trips as he can over there to experience that and pick up some exclusive things like this that you cannot find in the United States. So it's a Japanese Gashapon keychain. It's got the little piece of track that it's permanently attached to, and you can connect them together with other track. So that was really special. And this is a very... I, I'm, I'm assuming this is rare, this Caroline, because... Caroline was only in, I think, a couple of episodes. She's in an episode with Stepney. And I think there's another one where she's actually, actually on the train with Stepney and I think it's Toad. But um, this is excellent condition, Caroline. Is it Caroline or Carolyn? <laughs> I got to go back and see how Ringo says it or uh, Alec Baldwin. I think those t t two of the episodes, uh, they narrate it. 
they said they give her a southern accent, which I should have no problem doing, <laughs> since I am from the south. Of course, it's, I, I don't know if it's southern England or southern U.S., but anyway, this is Caroline, and this is, should work perfect. I could probably reenact one of the scenes with the Stepney, because I could have Stepney, I could have her on the flat car and towed, and we could just reenact that, so that was so awesome. I got to hang out with Singular J Tachikawa at the show. We talked a lot about Lego and uh, all kinds of things. So it was, that's one of the best things about the show. Oh, it is the best thing is meeting people uh, at, and talking to them and just seeing so many of the fans, a lot of the young fans we got to meet. And I'll be talking more probably about that either here on this channel or on my Bricks Are Lego channel. Uh, so I really enjoyed meeting the people. But now let's get to show you what Dunkster Bricks gave us. So he, he also gave me a Lego set uh, that we'll feature over on Bricks R. But this one is specifically labeled to Trains R. So what is it? It is a train set in a tin. Gift in a tin. And you're like, how on earth can a train set with track fit in one little tin like this. Well, let's open it up. Includes track, battery operated train, and hours of fun. Track is 56 by 26 centimeters. So you got a little steam engine, a coal, a freight line, and a caboose and some track. So I'll set this up. At the bottom of the tin is shows more gifts in a tin, things that they make. They make a lot of stuff apparently that's pretty neat and look it even comes with the battery that's pretty awesome so let's set it up uh, battery is real easy to insert you just squeeze this to open it kind of like some of the old tommy trains so that's really easy all right it's ready to go i have not actually tested it out yet actually the uh, on off switch is on the other side there so i got to flip that on and let's see what happens uh-oh. Whoa, there it goes. It's working. It has not derailed yet. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> Pretty cool. So I want to thank Dunkster Bricks for this uh, special gift. I want to thank Sim Killer J Tachikawa for his gifts as well. Thing goes a lot faster than I expected and it's actually working you can see how the tracks connected there it's really simple to connect not bad for a little plastic train is it wow I want to thank the family who gave me Jordan games awesome so if you want to see more train videos be sure to check out dumpster bricks on YouTube lots of massive track setups Thanks again to Sinkiller J, who has helped us out a lot with uh, not only the gas pond, but also Ertl trains. He sent us some other Ertl trains. In fact, my first experience with Ertl was because of Sinkiller J, Tachikawa. And uh, this is really one of the most special ones I've received, and we can do something with that step me later. Thanks again, Dunster Bricks, man. This train's super fast. Super, super fast. Super, 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 super fast. Ooh. <laughs> So there'll be more videos here on my channel. Also check out Dunster Brick Hill. He'll be posting more about Philly Breakfast 2018. And I'll be posting more videos here and on Brickzar with the Lego train creations. And well, it's just a lot of fun. So if you like Lego, you like trains, check out Dunster, check out Brickzar. Thanks again, everybody, and we will see you in the next video.